Well, Metro police are just working around the clock and so hard. A lot of officers are stationed here on Belmont's campus. Others are helping with the motorcades that will happen here in Nashville a little bit later today. That's why Hannah McDonald is covering security for us this morning. And Hannah, I know you're close to Belmont's campus, but it goes to show a difference a day can make because you're nowhere near as close as you were the last few days when this place wasn't quite as locked down as it is here this morning. Yeah, there are more fences today, Ben. There are also more roadblocks. This campus is 93 acres and you cannot get very close to any of it. Two of the most important people in American politics are meeting here for their final showdown tonight. And Metro Police want to make sure everything goes smoothly and safely on their watch. So that's why 700 police officers from Metro Nashville's police department are going to be stationed around the campus today and tonight. The event is not open to the public and because of COVID-19, no one is allowed to get very close to the debate hall at all. So multiple officers, they're going to be manning gates, checking to make sure the appropriate people are getting close. There are two motorcades scheduled to happen today, one for each candidate. Metro officers are combining with the Secret Service to pull that off and direct it around Nashville. It is not every day these agencies get to work together. A head of state doesn't always visit Nashville annually. Quite frankly, with everyone's involved, we're excited and we think we're ready uh, for this event. Another thing that police are going to be looking for tonight, they're going to be looking for drones. They do not want drones to fly. So if you are an owner of one, just keep it grounded today because the FAA actually has a total restriction for flying uh, aircraft today. And at one o'clock, that is also going to include helicopters and planes.